Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over how to build the Codrone Pro remote. You can see all the pieces laid out here. A Phillips head screwdriver comes with a kit, but a nut driver may also come in handy if you have one. Here we have some wires, and this is the BLE board or the Bluetooth module. This is the battery pack. Here we have the joysticks the smart inventor board and we have a little blue piece here that will hold everything together and then we have some nuts that look like this and we have some longer screws we just have two of these we have some standoffs here this is what they look like and some shorter screws and with that I think we're ready to get started all right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Smart Inventor board and we're going to take a couple of nuts. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these nuts in these little holes here. And it's kind of on the on the right and the left side, uh, right next to those uh, screws in the board. And you can see that they just, they just rest in the holes there. And then we're going to take this this guy right here we're going to make sure that there's seven holes on the top and eight holes on the side uh, we want the short side on the top and then we're just going to take the board and line up the holes with the nuts that we just inserted and there we go Okay, and then holding the nuts, this part can be kind of tricky, but we're going to take the longer screws, the longer screws of the two types of screws that we have, and then we're going to basically just screw in to the nuts. And you can use the Phillips head screwdriver. There we go. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Again, the longer screw. And then make sure those are pretty tight, uh, enough to hold the board to the to the little piece here. And okay, we have a nice start to it. Okay, and the next step, we're just gonna flip it around like this. Uh, this will be the top of the controller um, and we're going to take these standoffs and we're going to put these in the center of the blue piece so if you can see we're going to put it the third hole down right here and the third hole down again right here uh, and we're going to leave the, the row of holes in the middle alone and then hold those and flip it around and then using a couple of nuts just kind of secure those there we go and same for the other one and the nut driver will come in handy here if you have one if not you can just use your hands to tighten all right just like that cool all right, and we're going to use those a bit later, uh, but for now, we're going to move on to the joysticks. And these, these things are pretty cool. They behave just like any video game type of joystick that you may have used, but we need to put it together first. So the first thing is you need to find the little hole on the underside of the, of the black piece and it has a short side and a long side and then the metal piece also has a short side and a long side but you just want to line it up and all you have to do is line up the hole with the metal piece and just kind of push it in a little bit if you have to force it you're probably doing it the wrong way uh, it should just slide in nice and easy okay now we're going to take those and now we're going to attach it to what we have so far 
um, and it's going to go, they're going to line up with these holes right here on the little blue piece. Um, and we're, we're going to need, we're going to need two short screws and we're going to need two uh, nuts for each joystick. Um, but you can see here, it may take a little bit of wiggling, but we want to put a nut in the fourth row from the bottom and the second row from the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to flip it over, hold those screws, and we're going to use two nuts to tighten. Just keep that in place. Perfect. It may take a little bit of patience, a little bit of wiggling. And we can just use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten those up. Just make sure to hold the nuts on the other side. Alrighty. And we're just going to do the exact same thing with the other side. Also something important to note is those pins at the top that are sticking out. Make sure that those are sticking towards the Smart Inventor board because that'll help with the wiring situation later. And here are our nuts. Twist those on. Very nice. All right, and we're just going to tighten those again. Very cool. Awesome. And now you can see it's starting to take shape here. Uh, we have the board and the joysticks. What we need now is the batteries. We need to attach the battery pack. And this, what we're going to end up doing is first we need to prepare it. We need to take one little screw, one of the short screws, and we're going to put one in the second hole on the top, and we're going to put another one on the second hole on the bottom just like this and hold those flip over the battery pack and we're just going to secure those with some standoffs just like this and just, just screw those on you can use your hands those aren't too bad to get on you can always tighten them later with a tool All right, it should look like this. With the wire on top. Okay, now take your controller and this battery pack is gonna go on the back side of the controller. So, we're going to attach it like this. And go ahead and flip over the battery pack so that the the wires are facing downward. Again, this will help with wire management later. It'll make it a little bit easier to work with. And pay attention to what holes that we're putting the battery pack into. Um, the battery pack should line up pretty well with the bottom of the blue piece. Um, and those extended nuts should just stick out, barely stick out through the bottom. And then go ahead and take a couple of nuts and secure those. Awesome. Cool, cool. And using the nut driver, we can tighten those up.
Nice. Looking good. Okay, now we need to attach the BLE board or the Bluetooth module. And to do this, you can see there are five holes on the top of the board. Uh, we're just going to use the bottom two. And we're going to just line those two holes up with the standoffs that we attached earlier. Just like this. And go ahead and take a small screw and put it through that hole into the standoff. And just kind of twist that in. And tighten it up. All right, and we're going to do the same with the other one. Just use the last screw. I'm going to make sure this board is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. The BLE board is what talks to the co-drone, so it's very important. All right, now it's time to plug stuff in. So we have the red and black wires from the battery pack. And if we look closely here, I'm going to zoom in. If we look closely here, you can see a little bit of a groove in the white piece at the end of the wire. That should slide in right, real nicely with this pin set right next to the door to the switch on the Smart Inventor board. Okay, and then we're going to take these wires with the three different colors and we're going to take the three pins on the joystick and plug it in just like that again with wiring if you have to force anything um, I would maybe take a step back and make sure that everything's going in the right way first and the other side of these wires are going to go on the far right pin sets here should be called port A you should see port A right above those pins and there's a pattern here so as we go from left to right plugging in wires we are going to go down the port A pins just like this can see that these plug in right below what we just plugged in. There we go. Okay. Again, moving to the right. Just like that. And moving down. right into port A there. One more. These wires are sending the electric signals from the joysticks to the Smart Inventor board. That's how your code drone is going to know where to fly, which directions. And you can see here what it looks like in port A. It can get a little bit messy, but feel free to clean it up any way you want as long as everything's going in the right port. Okay, and now we're going to connect our BLE board to the Smart Inventor board using this black cable here. Um, the, other, the first side will plug into the bottom left of the BLE board and the other side will plug into the right side of the Smart Inventor board. Just like that. Do a little bit of wire management and you can make this any way you want. Uh, you can mess around with it so it's nice and clean. But there you go. You have built the Codrone remote. Congratulations.